Welcome ladies and gentlemen, so we are gonna be doing a quick look at the division. Yeah, I'm still doing those. There will be one for Left Alive and for the Devil May Cry 5 in the next weeks or so. And there will be probably some more first hours off and I still want to discuss a little bit more about the Epic Store stuff. There will be something on this video a little bit, not much, I don't want to get too in. But, this video will be a little bit different. Instead of like going to the normal graphics, sound and anything like I do on this, I will tackle this game in two parts. The first one, 1 to 30 experience, the normal game, and then I will tackle the end game. The end game we're gonna be talking more spoilers, so if you don't want that you can drop on that part. I can I will give a warning about it. I will try my best to not give much spoilers here, but one of another can escape, so I will apologize if you get spoiled after something. Yeah. There are other two facts that I do want to talk about that does not intend on gameplay or it's completely outside of the game itself I will give that on the ending of the video so yeah if you interest on that it will be there supposedly there was a third topic but that I think I need to go for a separate video because the last time I recorded it took enough time as the entire video itself the entire review itself I will be doing more quick look at some other games than I did play, some like Spin Morality and other games like that. Maybe a different name, not a quick look, because since I did a full let's play on the channel. Now, without further ado, let's start with the experience on the Division 2 from level 1 to 30. So, the game itself is beautiful. I'm not gonna deny it's running mostly without many bugs although i notice sometimes get stuck on some type of um, some animations for example if you try to revive a down in piece of down in pc uh, control point manager i don't remember the name if you end up killing everyone it will get revived automatically but if you're still in the middle of the animation you get stuck. The only way to solve this is if you log out and log in back at the game. There are other bugs, as for example places that you cannot reach, quests that end up bugging if you die at some point, enemies just spawn out of nowhere, a little bit of popping, textures not loading correctly. That sometimes may be problem, but yeah. From the 49 hours that I played, those did not affect me that much. This list may be longer of bugs than I told, but as I said, I didn't experience many times those. And when I experienced was something that if I log out, log in and log out again would be fixed. Now. Can you play the Division 2 solo, 1 to 30, completely? It's not gonna be too harsh on you, you can do it easily enough. I did it from 1 to 30 solo, complete all the three strongholds, was not... It was challenging enough, but it was not something that you will say that it's impossible for you to do. You may be tweaking a little bit your skills, folks on something one thing or another and at the end you can do it no problem the only problem is i in my opinion the lack of cutscenes the game does have a larger lack of cutscenes only having the introduction cutscene one when you meet a certain character the end cutscene and the two cutscenes for each of the settlements leaders when one when you start and one when you get it uh their quest for completing the settlement projects 
In my opinion, that's a little bit of a waste of potential. The game could and should have more cutscenes and yeah, that's in my opinion a little bit of a detriment. Because one, that makes you the you not see much of voice acting. Besides grunts, they do have a very good voice acting, not much of a variety, but they do. And staff from White House to settlement staff or civilians roaming around, they do have interesting voice lines, their voices are not bad, but their models does not have any type of lip syncing, so you're only going to see that on cutscenes or so. Not a major gripe, but something then, yeah, it's there. If you're in the end, if you're looking for a like cutscene of game, this is not gonna be it. Not only that, but you don't have much on the interaction of characters. Still a little bit on sound. I'm not gonna say then that's a major problem, but maybe the game itself is silent. It's very very quiet. On in the moment there you are between activities or going from point A to point B on a mission. Although I don't believe I have my settings turned down on music, but the volume was too low. The There was not sound, there was not tracks coming, there was no music. So you get that silent while you're walking to. Of course the silence breaks when you're when you run into an activity, but most of the time when you're just walking, that is a problem. If you're playing as the game was intended to be played with friends, you're not gonna have this problem, so that take for your opinion how you're going to play. And in the end, you can just pop, pop out your Spotify playlist and that's not gonna be a problem either. But yeah, that's the thing. The game does feel a little bit silent, it does feel like the downtime is a little bit more focused. Although, one of the things is there is not much downtime. There's not much walking without doing anything. You always are doing something. You're always getting craft materials. You're always finding an activity to tackle on. Being that a simple supply crate, getting some supply crates, saving some civilians, or hacking a propaganda machine network or stuff side quests are making or very interest they do have some side quests on each settlement plus they have some side quests that are heading to the world all of they do give you reasonable reward and it's not that bad to complete just hope you don't get stuck on some piece of furniture or stuff like that or on an animation yeah i kind of still sound about that there is still a problem about building on the game. The simple fact that some builds are broken, most exactly the skill. Since skill power is, in my opinion, what I mostly expect on the Division 1. And on the Division 2, it's broken simply because the mods are having a very larger requirement they should have. And because skill power itself doesn't do anything. Uh, what I mean by that is the skill power, the amount of skill power doesn't up your healing output, it does not up your damage output, the damage of your skills. It just is there. It does not give you anything else. It exists only to unlock mods and since the high-end mods are broken and don't have a... and don't have a use because the requirements are too high, you can fully spec on it and that will cost a lot because you will have zero to none health, you have zero to none damage. But you can try. It's viable, it's possible, hard. But I would wait until the developer fix that and the developer, yes, they said that is broken. Beside that, the experience is fun. It has a mechanic and gameplay, there is a lot of loot. Someone may have a problem about the amount of styles of rules the loot has. Uh, the same backpack will never be the same. You you may get the same model, but 
the stats will be gigantically different. The amount of stats, the rules to mods, they will be different. The rule for which stats, which talent, how much talent, how much slot, how much stats rules there will be are always different. That create a little bit of a problem because, well, you may never get what you want and that is a very thing. But since you always getting something with chests refilling 24 hour each 24 hours control points getting refill on chest quests being highly generous with the amount of loot you always kind of gonna get what you want like by sheer brute force it may take generations but in the end you may get that backpack with the that amount of stats than you want Recalibration doesn't help too much simply because, well, you can only recalibrate one stat and one stat only, being a stat roll, being a talent, being... And another thing is you cannot swap tal uh, stat rolls. If you got a backpack who has a skill talent, a utility talent, you cannot transform that on a health talent or in damage talent. You're only going to be able to stay on the same uh, pattern and the same skill set. That may be irritated people. And to that I will say we don't know yet how the true sets will work. If they will stay the same. Probably not on the talent side. But I hope they are more restrictive about which talents they have. And I would hope that... Recalibration maybe get a little bit of a buff, allowing you to recalibrate two stats or something like that. I don't know. During 1 to 30, the game is more calm. There will be not many outside the activities, there will be not a dynamic. You get a you do the quest on a area, you finish, you get a control point that will be under your control, you can farm gear each 25 24 hours the gear will be resetting and that's it but now i'm going to start going up for the end game because like it or not that's where the majority of the game exists and where the game gonna make or break there will be a little bit more spoilers on this part i'm gonna be talking a little bit more on the history and stuff like that so if you're not up for it that's the time to quit or to skip to ahead uh, more to the end where I'm going to be talking about those two outside of gaming problems ish of the division 2 okay ready here we go after you finish the three strongholds you're gonna get your special specializations and you can swap between you can choose now you level up each time, you level up with a specialization in active, you get 3 points, doing bounds and other things too, will give you more points. Now, with all of that is fun, dandy and whatever, one quick tip that I have for you, a hint if you will. Even if a friend of you say, yo, I, let's do, I, bo I boost you, I help you get over to the world tier 4 don't do because even if you do it by the right mean which is like just do all the invading invaded missions and then do all the invaded strongholds your gear score and build your gear score may end up being the max but your level will be trash you're not gonna have sets your skills is gonna be garbage your rule sets are gonna be garbage it's not gonna be the best thing I did that I should get playing solo. Although, I have to say, I played the first two mission invaded missions and one stronghold solo and was able to do, no problem. Was highly enjoyable, was highly fun. Now, I'm gonna tackle the history a little bit here. As I said, not many cutscenes, that's a problem, I don't enjoy it, but the Division 1 was an interesting fact on the history. You have a sense of emergency. 
you would tackle things and to the consequence of those missions that both mostly the main missions something would happen and you would need to tackle that you can see that has a more of a movie type deal there is a sense of urgency you're accompanying that amount that people on a very short period of time on the division 2 i sense it is a more tv series style where yeah quests are more separate they are their own episode they may have a change in they may have a end goal in mind, but they will be literally separate from the main plot. Now we're gonna have three other episodes plus eight missions. That we will be tackling more history and more things. And I think they will be having the same feeling. More of a TV show aesthetic to the game. Although I will agree, the problem still stands the lack of interaction with all the characters or heavy. The character that you end up most interacting with is Nomad. I know the name of the character on this. on the Division 2 is not Nomad, but since it's the same voice actor, or I will be calling Nomad. You end up talking, he end up talking to you mostly on the each mission, besides the drone, the drone operator who doesn't have a name. While the agent and the president are just once in a while characters. Same goes for the settlement leaders. I wish we had more. I wish we were able to talk more. And to be honest, I have to say... Uh, the outcast leader was a very disappointment because after I finished the quest, I really thought, wait, 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 did I kill her? I really didn't remember that. So yeah, I'm not going to deny they should do a little bit better on that front. But that is a little bit of a history. It's not bad. It's not great. I would say they get a pass. The fact is, after level 30, the gameplay become a little bit more dynamic. The control points that you had mostly will be able to get attacked by the enemy factions. And now we, you will get the fourth enemy faction, the Black Tusk. And you will have a more dynamic gameplay. Factions will become more hostile. They will be more active from enemy factions or walking around, they will engage against each other, they will engage against patrols, they will be doing nothing, they will be carrying suppl supplies, so it's a great idea, the game become more active, even if you lack side missions and things like that, you will have a lot of more activities to do on the game itself, control points, farming, so you do the activities up the level of the control point, and tackle the control point, those are a little bit harder, I don't know if I would hack highly recommend doing a uh, level 4 control point solo but I don't know maybe my build sucks because I decided to go on skill build but yeah in the end the division 2 is a very interesting game it's a question about if you wish to if you're okay with the live service the game will be updated and if you're thinking about picking up the game right now I wouldn't wait until Friday see the amount of content they drop of their first quote unquote big update. Not their episode one, but their big update with the first sets, with the first with the title base, stronghold, and with War Tier 4. Five, I'm sorry. So yeah. We didn't do Friday. My recommendation would be that if you're not on the live service boat, yeah, maybe it's a pass because Story is not complete. You're not gonna get a satisfying ending on it. There's not much interaction, and it is an MMO, most likely. But I have to say, the Division Two feels like the most feature complete game on the live service these days. It does have history. Each thing there is, it is in game. You don't need to tackle from outside source. To learn the lore about it and things like that.
they give you enough loot, not forcing you by simply not giving you enough loot, of course, to force you to stay in the game. They have a larger amount of loot drops, as I said, on chests. After a command point got taken, you can literally go and retake for a larger chest to give you a piece of gear and a piece of weapon. Don't deconstruct any high-end desert ego. Don't fucking do it. A very interesting gameplay change that I don't know if I like with The Division 2 was the fact that now you can only equip one exotic weapon at a time. I can't understand why, mostly because they have a very good they have very good holster perks. But to that eff effect, I would say that I enjoyed the Division 1, where even some of the weapons were set on itself, allowing you to grab, if you grab both, getting an uh, extra perk. But, outside of that problem, I think the Division 2 is a good game. I duly, highly recommend a pick up on this, or at least a look. Look close, watch some gameplay, more gameplay, wait until Friday, know the updates, see if they fix most of the problems. And that's my opinion. Now, I'm gonna be talking about two things. They are completely outside the Division 2. Not outside gameplay, visuals and things like that. I'm gonna be talking about two um, problems outside this topic so if you don't want to see that i've wholeheartedly understood if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you want to see what's gonna happen on this shit show of a channel subscribe if you dislike the video there is the dislike button right there and i would highly appreciate if you leave the comments say what could make the video better but Let's talk about these two interesting topics. The first one is the thing that everyone is talking about. Is the Division 2 better than Anton? Yeah, it is. Anton is an incomplete game. The Division 2, it is 1-2, but it does feel like a feature complete game. It does feel like it does have a sort of progression. Although both of the got bugs. The division bugs are less frequent and people were not that pissed off about it. Now I wholeheartedly subscribe to the theory that the Anton was the way the Bioware tried to escape for a chopping block, creating a game that would be easy to update as time goes on and things like that, so they could maintain their studio alive without the fear of the chopping block of the of EA chopping block. Now, outside of that, do I believe is a fair comparison make between the Division 2 and Anthem? No, I do believe those two were different games, they were massive entertainment. Had their time, they developed a game, they understood what was the problems of the Division 1, and because of that, they were able to make a better game. Right, everyone is on that on the same note here with this. Okay, the second and most problematic topic. Why I'm not shitting on the division two by being an epic exclusive. Well, first things first. I don't agree with being an ep I don't agree. I fully wholeheartedly hate the fact of the Division 2 being a epic exclusive. But I was a I would need you play if I was about to play that. I would need to have you play stall, I wouldn't need to run you play while I play the game. Right the fuck now, I'm just cutting the middleman. Because they're not buying from Epic. And buy from you play directly. 
So yeah, I still have the choice of not supporting Epic and buying from Uplay. Do I like? No. 100% no. Do I still believe that Uplay is a shit service? Yes, I do. Do I believe that they should allow that game be on Steam? Yes, I think. Do I wish that Epic end up declaring bankrupts by their shitty predict? Their shitty ways of dealing with stuff? Wholeheartedly. Do you wish then the fucker, I forgot the name, Tim Sweeney, just like stop being an idiot and stop talking bullshit, like saying there that his story is nearly perfect? Yeah, I do. But right now, at this point in time, I'm not gonna shit too much on the Division 2 because of it. Ubisoft still allowing us the choice where to buy the game. Buy from Epic Store shit show or to you play garbage then. Not great choices, but choices nonetheless. From all the other games, they are not doing that. Even Outer Worlds, there is still something because I will keep shitting on Outer Worlds simply because it's not they are giving us the choice of buying on Microsoft Store. There is a worse than you play even. It's simply Epic didn't have the chance to use Neg that. Because Epic literally, and that's what pisses me off about it a little bit more, even on the division, Epic did not like got this game on there. They simply buy out exclusive deal for not to be on Steam. They didn't buy the game to be on Steam, they didn't buy exclusivity, they buy the game to not be on Steam. That was their deal. Now, that's my opinion. I will not be shitting too much on it. Mostly that will depend on how many more games Ubisoft do this. Like it or not, I mostly will be playing two Ubisoft games a year, probably. The Division, uh... And I don't know, probably the next Assassin's Creed, then I'm gonna buy it and play for an hour or so and never touch it again. But yeah, I still play Rainbow Six Siege, but I can buy on Steam my season pass, so I don't give a fuck. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for now. There will be more videos this week, probably other quick looks at. I will try to keep the format less strange than this time because this vision 2 is a game that i need to tackle in different ways but i will try my best to not create a mess next time around so ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching see you next time please by god don't let vampire bloodlines 2 be a political game i don't want that woke shit in my games Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This was the video. If you enjoyed, leave it a like. If you didn't, leave it a like. If you have anything to say, please leave a comment. And if you want to see what the hell is going to be coming next on this mess, subscribe. And see you guys on the next episode.